Hey guys, so Minecraft Pocket Edition and Windows 10 Edition versions 1.0.0 have been released after the over a month long beta that was available for Android that did an overview on that one as well. Uh, but this is the final update available for all platforms. So I'm going to do another overview and mostly focus on the end. So that is right. The end has been added and that is why this is completely out of alpha. This is out of alpha. The zero point whatever updates are over. A lot of people thought it was going to be 0.17 or something like that. That's over. Alpha is done just like on PC where you're out of alpha and have moved on. Uh, to the 1.0 update so that is really cool and uh, you know it's like you know this is what they've been working towards since you know the start of pocket edition and there will be more updates obviously uh, but this is really what they've been working towards so I'm going to be focusing on the end and showing how to build like another portal another portal an end portal uh, and stuff like that but I'm just going to start off right here on the main menu and you can see I am on Windows 10 edition uh, normally I do record on Pocket Edition, but because I can get a better recording on Windows 10 Edition, I have uh, started recording with that. It is the exact same thing as uh, Pocket Edition, only it's on Windows 10. So here, settings menu, nothing really new. The settings menu on Windows 10 Edition works really well. On Pocket Edition, the same thing can't really be said, but it is getting better at least. Uh, it works really well in here, really smooth. Uh, we're on Pocket Edition, it's kind of laggy and uh, glitchy. So here it works really well, just the same old things, options right there. We have our store here with uh, like this holiday mashup or festive mashup pack, holiday skin pack, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they added all of this stuff. This update came out just a few days before Christmas, so that is kind of weird that they added all this Christmas stuff in right before Christmas because now Christmas is over. When I wanted to do this video and actually recorded it for the first time, it was before Christmas and then everything got screwed up. Then I got busy with Christmas. Here we are. So Christmas is over. I don't think a whole lot of people are going to be buying that stuff anymore, but maybe next year. Although you would think by next year, you know, they'd have uh, some new Christmas stuff. Anyways, oh well, not a big deal. Uh, you can see our festive mashup pack here and that pops up here and again in a little bit. I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, just some skins, nothing new here, achievements as well. Let's go ahead and just make a new world. So I have one there already. I'm just going to go to the create a new world page because there is something new here. You can see festive mashup pack pops up right here. So you can buy this whole pack for four bucks. Uh, it gives you the world, the skin, uh, the textures, all that stuff, as well as the new sound. So one of the things that they added with resource packs is the ability to change sounds uh, you know, with just a single pack. You could change music and all that stuff in-game. Well, now this is the first pack they've allowed uh, within the game that'll allow you to download uh, and change the music. So this is going to add Christmas music and that kind of stuff uh, to the game. Uh, it's the first pack built into the game uh, that can do that. So there it is. Again, Christmas is already over, but not a big deal. Let's go ahead and make a new world here. Let's go creative, continue, cheats, always day. Good stuff here. Let's go play. All right, so I'm going to get right to it and I'm going to go right into the end. So let's go ahead and figure out how to make an end portal. So what you're going to want to get is the uh, uh, the end portal block right here. You can see it's in this part of the menu. If you're running on Pocket Edition, then it is going to be a little bit different. I mean, it's essentially going to be the same thing, but on Windows 10 Edition, the inventory does look a little bit different. Uh, you're also going to need the Eye of Ender. I'm just going to search for it because I'm a Windows 10 edition. It makes it a lot easier. Not the Eye of Ender. Eye of Ender. There we go. And that's all you're going to need. So let's go ahead and build this. It can be a little bit tricky. So the thing you're going to want to remember is wherever you start building, because you're going to be building a square here, you're going to want to start by building here in the center. Because if you start, if you, if you try to do it like this where I'm following the blocks and doing it like that, it's going to screw it up. And it's a, you know, you're going to have to redo it again anyways because it's actually really picky about uh, where you place stuff. So, and I just got rid of my end portal block. All right. There we go. So starting off in the center here, let's go ahead and uh, let's do it like this. Nope, I'm holding this. Okay. End block, end block, end block. Here we go. You're not going to want to fill in the corner like that. It's going to be a 3x3 three three box but you do not want to fill in that corner. Again, turn around, building from the center, boom, boom, whoops, boom, and like that. Now that we have that, we're gonna do the exact same thing by starting in the center like this, and then we're gonna start placing some end portal blocks, or end portal, uh, uh, eye vendors in every single one of these, boom, like that. And there we go. So yeah, if I tried to screw it, if, if I you know just tried to place stuff in here just randomly, 
like that and then I just kind of put these in at random you'll see once I finish unless I'm really lucky yeah I'm not lucky at all uh, <laughs> if you can see it doesn't work so there it is but this one since we started from the center and build it there it is it's gonna work perfectly drop right in here and that loads up the end you can see the end dragons over there we got Enderman somewhere there they are and we got just the end world this is it this is what you know we've been waiting for uh, in pocket edition this adds a whole bunch of new stuff uh, new blocks all kinds of new stuff this is a huge update for pocket edition so I'm just gonna start uh, up here or I'm just gonna stay up here and uh, yeah I think we're safe up here so uh, let's start off they added uh, a version exclusive command that I think is really cool so you type in slash connect and you type in either the IP address or the URL uh, of the server you want to join so I don't have one to join I'm just gonna put some random numbers in uh, 123.456.789.123 that works good enough for me if that was a real IP address that'd be really cool but you just run that oh so I screwed that up uh, too many characters in it so let's try that one there we go so that now what it's trying to do it's gonna make my game really laggy yeah you can see the games really laggy it's trying to join that server that I just put in there now the reason it's gonna lag so much right now is because that server doesn't exist so it's trying over and over and over again to join it and it's gonna kinda of bog the game down I don't know if that's a glitch uh, or what there should be a kind of a like a way to cancel that or something while it's going but it doesn't take too long for it to time out you can see up there could not connect to the server so now it's back to normal uh, but if you actually put in a real IP address then it would just connect you to that game automatically uh, that's really cool and I think that's uh, a cool thing that they added we have some new mobs I think my favorite right here is the polar bear let's go ahead and spawn a polar bear uh, in the end there it is we have our polar bear right there that's pretty awesome everybody likes polar bears but uh yeah all right I have a new polar bear it's cool uh, so yeah there's also some version exclusive uh, achievements as well so uh, you know they added some version exclusive things like that command and uh, some achievements and stuff I think that's really cool I like every time they do updates now it seems like they try to get in a few version exclusive features which is really nice because you know it kind of separates pocket edition uh, from PC instead of making like a duplicate of PC uh, for pocket edition but with something like the end being added we are getting closer to that level of PC here on pocket edition uh, PC of course is still farther ahead but it seems like with every single update that comes to pocket edition they make all kinds of huge progress with the last few versions of PC with the exception of the uh, combat update even though that wasn't that big an update either with PC it's kind of slowed down they haven't added like big things to the PC so uh, pocket edition really has been catching up but at the same time they are like I said adding version exclusive features and I really do like that so leave a comment down below what is your favorite feature of this new 1.0.0 update I think it's it's got to be the end just because of what it adds uh, to pocket edition other features and stuff items whatnot uh, it adds so much to the game and at the same time it completely takes it out of alpha so we don't have to worry about those stupid 0 0.17 0 0.16 update versions those were stupid I didn't like those I thought after 0 0.9 we were gonna go to 1.0 I just thought that made sense but then they went to 0 0.10 and so on but here we finally are 1.0.0 so again leave your comments down below what is your favorite version of 1.0.0 I hope to see you guys all in the next video thanks for watching